Hello and welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to read and write structures to a file in the C programming language. Now we have worked with files in a previous video and we know that we use functions like fopen, fwrite and fpre. If not, we are quickly going to go over them. Now you can see the syntax of the fwrite function on your screen along with the syntax of the fread function. Now the syntaxes of both of these functions is almost identical. They both take a pointer variable, a size value and a file stream. Now if you look at our code, the first thing that we need to do is to define a structure. So I'm going to create a structure of a person which would include his age, his first name and his last name. So inside the main function, I'm going to create a variable of the data type file and I'm going to call it the output file. Now remember this is a pointer and then I'm going to open up the file using the fopen function and I'm going to name the file as personInfo.data. Now for the mode, I'm going to open it in write mode. Now when you're working with files, you always need to take care of errors. So I'm going to say that if the value of my output file variable is null, this means that my file descriptor did not get any value and that there was an error in opening the file. So I'm going to use a function as fprintf to print out the error and say that there was an error while opening a file. And then I'm going to manually close my program by using the exit system call. Now I'm going to give some values to the structure that I've defined. I'm going to say like person1 has the age of 20. The first name is Linux and the second name is Hint. And I'm going to duplicate this line like person2, let's say 25, John, Do. Then I'm going to use the fwrite function. So the first parameter is going to be the address of the person1. And then I'm going to use the size of function to get the size of the structure which in my case is person. And lastly for the file stream, I'm going to use the file variable output file. Similarly, I'm going to use another fwrite function to print out my second person information. Now I'm going to simply check for errors. So I'm going to say that if the value of fwrite function is not null or not zero, that means that we were able to successfully write our structures to the file. And if that value is zero, then there was some error writing the file. And at the very end of the program, I'm going to close that file using the fclose function. So I'm going to save my file and execute my code. As you can see that we were able to write the structure to the file. And I was able to create this person information file. So now I'm going to head over to my other program, which is the read structure. So when you're going to read a structure from a file, you need to know what is the structure that you want to read. You need to define it as well. So I'm going to copy it from my write structure file to define the structure that I want to read. And again, in the main function, I'm going to create a file variable and I'm going to call it input file. And then I'm going to create a variable of this structure person and I'm going to call it person1. Now for this input file, I'm going to open up the file again. Now this file was personInfo.dat for data. And for the mode, I'm going to type in R, which is the read only mode. Again, we are going to check for errors. And then I'm going to use a while loop. And for the condition, I'm going to use the function fread. And to store that variable into the person1, I'm going to pass in the address of this person1 variable. And then I'm going to pass in the size of the structure, which was person. And for the file, I'm going to pass in the input file. So this was my condition for the while loop. Basically, as long as I'm getting some input from that file, this while loop is going to execute. For every iteration of this while loop, I want to print out the following things to the screen like age is percentage D, first name is and last name is. Now for the values, I'm going to say like person one dot age comma person one dot first name comma person one dot last name. So now if I run this code after changing this open function to fopen function, I get the following output. I was able to read the structure from the file and print it to my screen. So that is how you read and write structures to a file in the C programming language.